hey guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome so same outfits i know from my last video but it's still the same day got home received another package and i'm like i need to record this because i have not recorded this video just because i need to wait for my second order to arrive and it arrived today and as y'all seen by the title this is my first 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 color pop haul because i have never tried color pop before i know it's bad <laughs> but i never pushed myself to try color pop before i just don't know but a lot of people are amazed and wowed for their super shock shadows which until this day i have not even tried not even the lippies nothing so right now i only have tried the foundation concealer the setting spray which i do have a review a little bit review for y'all um i did purchase recently purchase on my second order another concealer and the setting powder whole bunch of shadows i ordered 48 single shadows and about four eyeshadow palettes i thought i had more but it seems like i don't <laughs> so yeah um i'm gonna just do a haul today and if y'all want to see any reviews let me go if y'all want to see any reviews, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. See what y'all want to, what y'all want me to review for y'all. But other than that, if y'all want to see what I got and my mini reviews on some of these items, then just go ahead and keep on watching. Start for the first things that you know that arrived. Now, ColourPop did a two-day shipping, but everything took around four to five days to arrive. Even though on the package it says two-day priority shipping. But this box was supposed to arrive since Friday, since Friday, since Wednesday. Even the other, the first order also supposedly was going to arrive one day and it arrived the next day. I don't know why they do that. I just don't know. But the um, first one I did order, I've been wanting to try this one. You know, um, ColourPop is people consider it as a drugstore. Um, but I mean, okay. I try to swatch some colors as y'all can see. I was amazed on the pigmentation like it was good it was there but they're kind of powdery but you know they're really really affordable palettes um, and you do get the names in the back so I'm gonna just swatch these right here if this is your first time with Colourpop also like me um, but a lot of y'all were telling me that Colourpop was awesome to try Colourpop so here I am and I mean the shimmers are so so amazing i need really need to try their super shock shadows um because mostly all of them are shimmery kind of satiny finish you can see on the kickback on this one was pretty pretty heavy um which sometimes i don't mind but i just there's just a small i guess i'm used to big palettes but the palettes are just kind of small but I did use this one and even though they look mauve in the pan, my look came out so pink that day. I was like, oh my god, I look like freaking strawberry shortcake. Um, but they were so, so pink, even the mauve colors, I'm like, <laughs> and I was not even wearing pink that day. So it was pretty off because I wanted something mauve. Um brownish but yeah it turned it out pink so i was like mm. but i do love the packaging of this one anything that's pink i love it and the theme of you know what's going on right here purpley pinkish colors um it's really really pretty and uh, obviously the new bretman rock eyeshadow palettes oh my hair the new bretman rock eyeshadow palettes what in the okay bretman rock eyeshadow palettes <laughs> um can I just say the shimmers on these are amazing? This is how the palette looks like. I really thought once again that the palette was going to be more big. But now looking at the eyeshadows, their standard size eyeshadows is just the palettes are small. I just can't stand small palettes. I feel like I have enough small palettes but they're I think they're great to travel I just like big palettes it's just me I, that's just my preference that I just like bigger palettes now the shimmers on these oh my lord 
I really, really need to do a review with this palette. Like, look at that. Oh, like, the shimmers on any ColourPop shadow, I mean, eyeshadow palette, they amaze me. I really want to try out that blue or that silver. Oh, my God. Like, all the, this whole palette is just beautiful, beautiful. I love blues. I love playing with blues. Mostly that silver just catches my attention. It's just... Oh, the lip palette. I really, really love the lip palette. It's just gold and the glitter. And if it comes out, the glitter on it, it is super gorgeous. And I did swatch that yellow. Did not swatch the best, but the shimmers, though. The shimmers are really amazing. You only get two shimmers in here and one satiny finish. Um, but you do get other four. I just swatched this yellow and the yes please yellow they're pretty much the same they swatch the same but i need to play with them um with my eyes with a concealer or something the way i do it but other than that on swatches it did not look good at all it did not show up that much i i mean swatches don't say anything you know can judge a palette by the swatches i can't wait to play with this one let me know which one y'all want me to try first or if y'all want me to do a makeup look or something on these palettes i did try out the all-star setting spray a lot of y'all were saying that it was good some of y'all said that it was bad i seen one good review on this one i need to try this setting spray with my holy girl foundation see if it does work so let me know if y'all want me to do a review on this one the brow pencil i did buy this one in soft black let me just tell you i was not a fan at all at first of this brow pencil when i started using it it was so stiff it was it was just so hard but once i kept playing with it on the second try starting like getting warmed up and you know passing you know i guess the first few layers of the um brow pencil i did get this one um from another youtuber she said that this was her holy grail i can't find myself using a pencil i feel like i'm so used to the pomade oh i do have the pomade and i left it over there in my drawer but i do have the pomade also in black i feel like the pomade it's too creamy ish i don't know if that's the word like you have to have a really really light hand with the brow pomade because you can go overboard it's not like the shop miss a brow pomade um that's a little bit more drier if if i don't want to say that word but a little bit more workable if you can say um but the brow pencil i feel like i can get it like a natural brow sort of just to fill in my brows really quick that's pretty much what i would reach this for but the brow pomade from color pop is just you if you're a beginner i think you will end up with blocky dark brows <laughs> like i did <laughs> because i i guess i'm just used to my aoa brow pomade but you have to play with the other one. um i did purchase the ColourPop no filter setting powder i did purchase this one in translucent and it looks like this and i did catch this one on sale it, um i think i only paid like seven dollars for this one i don't remember received it in my second order for the seams of it it doesn't come with much product um how much you get in here you get zero oh no you get 8.5 grams and i mean a lot a lot of people were saying that it sucks so it's a hit or miss with this powder because i've seen many many mixed reviews i was like might as well use it if it doesn't work for my face i can just use it to set my um concealer for my eyes when i do my eyeshadow but let me know if you love this product. I did purchase two concealers. I purchased Fair 00 and Medium 26. Um, but I try to blend it out with a brush. It works better with a brush than a sponge. So you get more coverage with a brush, obviously. Um, but it's just, I'm not a super fan of it. But I don't hate it. And I did purchase a on Fair 00. This is just a white concealer. You already know why I use white concealers if you've been following me for a good while. But if you're new, usually use the most lightest concealer for my eye primer. 
or I use a white eyeshadow base. Now, I think concealers are way better than eyeshadow bases because, I mean, they give you more coverage. So I, that's why I purchased the white concealer. So I'll give this a try on my next video. Foundation stick. Somebody was asking me what shade I got. This one, it is Light 70W. It is pretty close to my shade. You do get this much product, which is a lot of products. It's medium, semi-medium buildable coverage. It's not full coverage. Let me just tell you one thing. This one, it is a weird foundation because I've been using it for two, three days and then I just stopped. Because I, uh, nothing beats my super stay. It does not claim that it's long lasting because it's not long lasting um it creases on me super bad on my forehead on my smile line and it fades on my chin and it fades on my nose and it gets oily and does not matter what setting spray powder i use with it, it it's still the same old thing but it only happens when my oils peek through even though i blot and set with powder like it cakes up really bad and i was gonna get the other foundation good thing i did not get the other one because i seen so many mixed reviews on the foundations both stick and liquid but i heard from someone that stick foundations are not meant to be for oily skin so now i understand why <laughs> because i don't hate it but it's just like that type of foundation that if you're going to the grocery store and come back then yeah i'll wear it because i try to blend it out with a brush I mean, you know, yeah, it's buff it out with a brush and it's just disappeared on me because I use, I think it was my Luxie brush. It's just disappeared on me. And then I used the sponge and it was super hard to blend out with a sponge. I don't know. It's a weird foundation, but if it's just not long lasting, I'm not a fan of it, but I don't hate it. It's just not long lasting and, you know, I have better foundations, but I did catch it on sale for $7, so doesn't matter okay so i did catch these on sale also they when i placed my order for my first order i was going to purchase these and there was a third one they're not on they're not in stock anymore i guess for because of black friday um but there were 70 dollars when i first seen them it was a value of 160 dollars and then they were selling them for 20 70 and i really wanted to get them and the second the third one was more golden ish bluish greenish colors and they just did not catch my attention and now that i want to go back for it it's gone it's gone but i did purchase two of them the only problem is that the picture on the picture had you know the way that it looked i'll try to put a screenshot somewhere if i can find it um on the way that it, they looked but they did retail for 70 dollars 160 dollar value and then i think a week later after i placed my order i went back to ColourPop. i was like let me see what else i can order through ColourPop. and then they had these for 56 dollars so from 70 to 56 so catch them on sale for 56 dollars both 24 um eyeshadows i believe on each one so 48 eyeshadows and this is what i got a whole bunch of single shadows um let me know if y'all want to see a swatch review i usually usually when i get single shadows like this i try to swatch every single one that i have so let me know in the comments below if y'all want to see full swatches on these and a eyeshadow tutorial but this is this is our, all of them there's a lot a lot and it's just gonna be a pain in the butt sitting here and taking each one out of the package so that's why you know but still <laughs> um this is how they look like i'm gonna just take one out obviously this is how they look like normally i think these retail for five six dollars or four dollars i don't remember this is how they look like just a standard shadow and then you get your 
name back here oh you get your name back here also and just the number and it says press powder and it's this one is called come and get it just a beautiful shadow so yeah that's pretty much it for my haul let me know if y'all want me to do a full swatch review on these single shadows or any of these palettes or if y'all want me to do a full review on the concealers powder um foundation and setting spray if y'all have any recommendations on ColourPop, let me know in the comments below because i want to try ColourPop more and when i look at these super shock shadows i just look at them and i'm just like where do i start <laughs> because there's a lot and i don't know how well they all perform and everything and you know for five dollars i think that's pretty good um but other than that guys that is pretty much it um if you have uh, tried any of these products let me know in the comments below how they work for y'all and that's pretty much it um if you have any questions go ahead in the comments below and i'll go ahead and see y'all on the next video bye guys